Uh, well, one thing we did last time we ran this club was to, we invited anybody to bring a poem to uh, to read. Uh, our theme this time was autumn, and uh, uh, we felt apples and taxes and avoiding taxes was a, an interesting theme. But I think David, you've come up with something. Isn't this isn't about apples or taxes, but it's possibly about autumn. Is that right? Yes, it is. Yeah. Fantastic. Come on, David Mosey is going to read you a poem. Thanks, Adam. Thanks, Kate. I, I gave it my all with the New New Year, and, and <laughs> it was good to see a worthy winner take you my place. But I've got a bit more left to give. Um, so this is a poem, it's a poem of mine, about autumn. It's about seaside. It's about homelessness, um, and it's about a man uh, contesting the oppressive forces of law and order. It's called the Bournemouth Identity. And um, I'm going to enhance it with a bit of a bit of random movement. So if I go off the mic, I'll try and do this this louder. Um, Nigel spent the night out in a beach hut, even though he knew it was against the rules. Nigel shut the doors, turned the light out, but those beach hut inspectors, they're nobody's fools. They've got the time to play a waiting game, and they know the beach hut problem. It's always the same. How long can an occupant suspend disbelief about the need to go outside for personal relief? It's cosy in the confines of a beach hut, and once he checked the cupboards and a folding table, Nigel, he knew his way around with his eyes shut. So he lay down on the floor to see if he was able not to have to bend his knees or bang his head, and maybe find the way to fit in his camp bed, the foldable companion of the orderly man when pondering an overnight seaside plan. So, don't get in a rut, go and sleep in a beach hut. They're just down the prom from, from the pitch and putt, and you'll be cheered up by their colorful variety. Join a forward-looking beach hut society. Now, you wouldn't say that Nigel was a beach nut. He'd never learned to <laughs> surf or done his lifeguard training. The principal attraction of the beach hut was where to watch the waves from when it started raining. But then, when you're on the inside, if an inspector calls, there's nowhere to hide. And Nigel in his hut received a bad shock when his inspector fastened up the outside paddling. So it turned into a long night in the beach hut, woken up by seagulls marching on the roof. By morning, Nigel knew each plank and each strut of beach hut would work when he was let out as proof <coughs> that any one of you who is inclined to messing with proper hours of beach hut use should learn a lesson. But Nigel learned that night he found a home that a single chap could occupy as a beach coma. Some of you got the guts to get down among the beach huts. Go on, do it now. I don't want so any ifs or buts. When it's autumn by the sea, the wet stay in their rooms, but they're tough, they get going, down to their beach huts. Thank you so much. Thank you, Rosie. So, the next, the next uh, part of my life takes place in October, if anybody fancies coming up and doing a poem, get your, get your stuff together.